Welcome to this lecture. Here we're going to be looking at the versioning property that we can add to our bucket. Let's go over to properties and here we're going to be activating versioning for our bucket. Let me explain to you what versioning does. Versioning allows us to store different versions of a file over time. What this means is, for example, if you're developing code and you have developed a working example of how your code should look, you will upload this code as version one, and then you will do any further modifications and advancements of this code and then store that as version two. Anything else you want to add, you store that as version three, four, five, so on and so on. Now, if say version two fails, you can go back to version one. Since you know version one worked, and any changes you have made has caused that code to fail and you can just revert back those changes by going back to version 1. You can do this basically for any of those versions till you get to a single working version. This is what a versioning allows us to do and not only is this applicable to code, if you're working with files where you have overwritten the file on accident, you can come back and revert the file to the previous version and it's going to be restored and any problems that you have made are going to be fixed that way. Now let's click on enable versioning to enable this specific setting. Click on OK. And now we're going to be coming over to the welcome.html to take a look at how this works. Let's come out of the properties. Let's reload the page one time. You can see two buttons are going to be appearing here. We have a hide button and a show button. If I click on the show button, you can see we have all of these versionings which are going to be shown to us. Currently, we have only one version available for our welcome.html file. And if we want to see how versioning works, we will make some changes to the original file. We'll upload that file back and then we'll look at this page again by reloading it. Let's come over to this notepad. Instead of having three lectures, let's have one more lecture. Let's paste this right here. And we're not going to be worrying about the URL. Let's just call this lecture four. And this is going to be a results lecture. Okay, now we're going to come back. We're going to go over to upload. We need to make sure that the file has the same name so that the computer knows that we're uploading a file which is going to be a second version. Let's come over and click on start upload. The upload has been completed and you can see now we have another version of this file. The first version is on the bottom and we have the next version right here. You can see there is a change in the time that was there for the upload. So here we have a previous time. Now we have the current time here. You can see there's a change in the sizes. And you can also see now we have a version ID. This was the original version, so this does not have a version ID. If we make one more change, it's going to store that right above that. So let's hit on upload again. Add files. You can see we have stored another version of this. Now what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and do a deletion of one of these files. So if I come here, go over to actions and click on delete. Click OK. This has gotten rid of that specific version for us. However, if I do a hide of this, come over to the original version. Now if I right click and go over to the delete, Click OK. It's going to be removed. If I click on Show, it's still here because what it has done is it has just attached a delete marker which serves as a cue for the system to make sure that this is not displayed. However, it is still going to be there when we look at the versions of previous files that are here. So all of the files are going to be stored and they're going to remain in storage because what can happen is you can also accidentally delete a file and in that case you need to make sure that you're going to be able to restore that file if you have deleted it. If we want to restore that file to the visible files all we have to do is delete this marker 
and now the system will no longer be able to differentiate between this file and the other files which are originally visible. Let's click on hide and you can see welcome has reappeared for us. So this is all that we're going to be covering in the versioning aspect. Versioning is a very powerful tool and it allows us to hold different versions of files so that if we make any accidental changes and if something wrong happens, we can easily come back to the previous version and we can restore that version back. Thank you for joining me here and let's move along.